Hello friends, in this lecture we shall discuss calculation of real gross domestic product. What is real GDP? Friends, real GDP is the GDP which is calculated on the basis of base year prices. What is the benefit of making calculation on the basis of base year prices instead of the current year prices? Friends, when we make the calculation on the basis of base year prices, then it eliminates the impact of change in prices over a time period, means inflation. And when impact of inflation is removed, then the GDP indicates the real economic activity. And this we are going to do on the basis of this data. This data is given relating to the year 2015, 16 and 17. And it is for three products. We are assuming for the purpose of making the exercise simple we are assuming that in this economy only three products are produced. Here we have the quantity of those products, here we have the price. This price relates to, to the year 2015, this to 2016, this to 2017 and this is the quantity for respective year. We have to make the calculation like this. The same data we have placed here. 2015 this is quantity data this is price 2016 this is quantity data but price this price will not be taken into consideration we shall consider the base year price here base year is 2015 so base year price is this one the same price we have reproduced here for 2017 also the quantity shall be taken relating to 2017 the, but the price will be taken the one which is relevant for base year that is 2015. Now we shall make the calculation 500 into 35 we get this value to be included in GDP. 1200 into 15 we get this value to be included in GDP. 300 into 45 we get this value to be included in GDP. And this is the GDP for 2015. Similarly for 2016, we shall make the calculation. But already as I said, the price here will be the same as we have taken for the year 2015. Because the calculation is to be made at the base year price. So when we calculate real GDP, it is 49,000 for 2015. It is 56,000 for 2016 and it is 62,250 for 2017. Now we can calculate the growth rate of real GDP. So it will be change divided by base year. Base year means the previous year. For 2015, since no other information is available, the base year is same, the previous year is same. Hence our calculation is 0%. For 2016, 7000 is the change. That is what we find here. 49000 is the GDP in the previous year. So 49000, we get 14.3%. For 2017, the change here is 6250. And this is the data for the base year we get 11.1 percent. This way we can make calculation of real GDP and also the growth rate of real GDP. Well friends, I am sure the contents of this video will benefit you. Thank you.